Very cool. Cool. There's a little bit of preliminary accuracy testing just offhand here at close range on the plate. It definitely shows a lot of promise. It's not really stringing them or throwing them into an odd group like I'd expected it to. Welcome back everybody. Today we're out here with yet another mill syrup. If you can't tell already, I'm a big fan of the Swiss Rifles. And no Swiss Rifle collection is complete without Switzerland's first repeating bolt action rifle. And this is the M78, um, Vetterly as it's known has a 13 shot tubular magazine which you'll see in action in a moment fires the 41 Swiss rimfire cartridge this particular one has been converted to center fire the process for converting them is not that involved it's fairly easy to do uh, you can form brass off 8 millimeter label or 348 Winchester it just requires a little bit of work the nice thing is is that the conversion process for um, changing the gun to center fire, you can change it back to rim fire if you so choose. Uh, the rim fire ammunition has not been available for quite some time now. It's been out of production for going close to about 70 to 80 years. Uh, riflemen that were issued this, they loved them when they first got them because, I mean, it just seems like the magazine never ends and you just keep shooting and shooting. Uh, they're reasonably accurate. Um, it's not uncommon to make point shots out to 300 yards with them with out too much difficulty. Uh, the ballistics of the cartridge were generally around kind of like shooting a 44 Magnum out of a rifle and that's what I used to work up the load data is uh, basic uh, 44 Magnum cast load data to uh, make our loads for this. So I'm going to show the gun in action a little bit and of course we'll show some close-ups. You can see the way this rifle's laid out, it's pretty simple. It has the popular Vetterly style bolt action system. It's got a loading gate on the bottom, uh, not unlike a Winchester. Uh, in fact, if my history is right, I believe that Winchester was involved in the development of the tubular feed mag system that this gun uses. So it's kind of like a cross between a Winchester, uh, east meets west, so to speak. Of course, you can see the uh, stylish trigger guard with the rest on it, which is real neat. The way that this firearm works is deceptively simple. The cartridges are fed in to the tubular magazine. There is a lifter that the bolt actuates and lifts the cartridge up. And of course, you close the bolt and it chambers it while simultaneously drawing the lifter rearward to accept the new cartridge. The overall length of the cartridge is critical to proper feeding. And like any tubular fed magazine, a strong crimp is uh, necessary if you're going to be shooting it. All Swiss rifle stocks made prior to around 44, 45 are made of walnut. Wonderful Swiss crest. All Swiss rifles made up until the 1911 infantry rifle used a curved butt plate. That was pretty standard fare for the day. Good shot, Chad.
this high in between the chains. Man, cannot say enough good things about this rifle. It's just so awesome. Good shot. Very cool.